Hey everyone, today I'm going to review the handmade watercolor paper from Blue Pine Arts. These are paper made in India, made with 100% cotton rag. And the paper is available in loose sheets like this, uh, sold in bundle of 12 and 24, and also available in sketchbooks. This sketchbook has 44 pages. So the price, um, if you get the smaller paper, this is about uh, A5 size, maybe slightly larger. Each piece is slightly less than one US dollar. If you get the larger paper, which is about two times the size, that is about $1.50 in US currency. So I'm not sure whether that is considered expensive or not. You have to compare it with other brands. This handmade paper has decade ages on some sites and the paper color is considered bright white. Now the thing with handmade paper is sometimes there can be blemishes on the surface. So here for example you can see the crease and here you can see the paper fiber. The sketchbook comes with this fabric color. There are probably going to be different designs you can choose from. And this is soft cover and you can see the decade ages on the three sides. There are 44 pages and the binding seems alright, it allows you to open the sketchbook flat. The binding only has two holes and this string that runs through them. The binding seems to be quite tight, hopefully they don't become loose over time. The paper is 220 GSM, so it's not that thick but it's also not that thin. And it seems like one side of the paper is rougher compared to the other side. So we should probably be painting on the slightly rougher side. Anyway, this paper is cold press. All right, let's draw something really quickly with pen and ink. So if I want solid lines, I have to draw a bit slower. I can definitely feel the texture of the paper affecting the lines but this is uh, good enough for pen and ink this pen that i'm using this is the sailor zoom nib i mean the fountain pen with a sailor zoom nib so it can produce thick lines as well as thinner lines depending on how you hold the pen so if you don't want the rough lines you have to draw a bit slower to get the solid lines. This paper can definitely handle ink just fine. Probably not as suitable for dry media, for mixed media, because the paper surface is kind of rough. Currently I have the paper at an angle, so I'm going to get the paper surface wet so that I can paint some wet on wet. The paint that I'm using is Jackson's Art watercolor paint. The colors do appear quite vibrant on this paper and the paper is able to handle the watercolor quite nicely so the sizing um, is quite good. So you can get some beautiful color blends very easily. It's quite enjoyable to be painting on this paper. So this surface is wet. Let's see what will happen if I paint a horizontal stroke here. The colors do move, but let me just help it along. Yeah, the colors do blend quite nicely. See how the paint moves? Let's paint the street here with ultramarine and burnt sienna. Now the paper is quite dry, so you do have to use a bit more water. You know what, let's have the shadow cast uh, on this direction. Maybe we can get some beautiful granulation. This paper is definitely quite good for wet on wet techniques. 
While waiting for the paint to dry, let's see if we can use color pencil. While waiting for the paint to dry, let's see if we can use color pencil on this paper. So you can see the paper texture is quite rough. So if you really want to cover the paper, you have to press down like quite hard. Interestingly, once you apply watercolor on the paper and then you use color pencil, it doesn't work that well anymore. So here I can have the red over white very easily, but on the watercolor, it doesn't seem to work that well. All right, let's paint the darker shadows. This is phthalo blue with a warm red. And this brush is the silver black velvet. The white brush I was using earlier, that's the Navskaya Palitra. Layering works fine. In fact, I think it works really well. Just that the paper is quite dry, so it takes a while to get used to it. The paper buckles very slightly. This is now dry. Let's paint a second layer. And you can see the colors, they are really very vibrant. So the white paper really helps make the colors appear vibrant and also the sizing is pretty good I was able to get the colors to blend very easily without much effort I think this paper is great for glazing for layering it seems to be able to take multiple layers easily even though it's just 220 GSM so maybe the cotton content does help make the paper more durable. You can get rough edges easily by painting fast and with less paper. You can get sharp edges as well. That is very sharp. This paper, by the way, is the one with the crease on the surface and now I don't notice the crease that obviously because of the art that's on the paper. Anyway, this paper, it does handle watercolor really well, so yeah, it's good paper. If you want to get the paper, you can check out bluepinearts.com. The link will be in the video description below. Alright, I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you again.